Okay, hello and uh, welcome to this interview session. And we are Mando Dia. My name is Gustav Norian. Now I'm Bjorn Dixgård, and uh, yeah, like Gustav said, a big. Yeah, our parents were like communists, hippies, and and they loved like uh, there was a lot of left wing revolutionary singer songwriters in in Chile, and, and uh, for instance, Victor Jara, the biggest, and we've been listening to him since we were kids. So we, we, we got that from our parents mostly and uh, also like this, from the Spanish Revolution there's a lot of good like folk singers, protest singers and we were put to sleep by our parents with those songs you know? and so it's just like something we got from our childhood and we used them all the time in, in that inspiration in our music just to make it a little unique like to, to try to combine the you know the, the, the British pop scene in the 60s with, uh, with some Spanish influence and some Swedish and also rhythms you know and congos and bongos and, and stuff like that we used that a lot on this record because yeah we wanted it to be more danceable than anything we've done before as well so that was a good you know good to add that. like we used you know uh, the Tantino soundtracks the Twin Peaks soundtracks and stuff like that it's a little bit of a build up for, for the set list of the record pretty much that's how we used that quite a lot we wanted a, a, part, a heroic beginning and then we wanted a funeral and death in the middle and you know a bit of hope in the end and yeah so it's like a wanted it to build up like a movie or a book or something like that so. and a jolly I'm um, singing in the rain yeah. ending yeah clockwork orange <laughs> style <clears throat> but we always love those um, we lo always loved the music in movies. I mean, we, we were very inspired in, even early on. Like, uh, also like Latin uh, songwriters, like music composers like Ennio Morricone and Giorgio Moroder and Nino Rotta. And we did all the Fellini movies and <clears throat> later on also like 70s blockbusters, Hollywood films. But we always bought the soundtracks on vinyls, on, on flea markets in, in our hometown when we were kids. Like, listening to that like it was the Beatles like or something like it was a band like because the it had drums and he had beats to them it was class classical music but it was pumped up like so it was pop music so we didn't really saw any difference between that and how I, I like I like to think that that if you if you go home late at night from the bar and you uh, miss your train or your bus and you have to walk home and you're going through the scariest alleys and the worst parks that you listen to Mano Diao and, and give you some kind of a boost to, to go through that alley that, that like that kind of heroic feeling that's you know that because that's what I like when I listen to more and that, that's what I would like people to do like I think that's on every album we have you know the search for that heroic thing you know we, yeah, we, we always, always had that in, yeah, we want to pump up people with self-confidence and stuff like that, you know, by the news. Of course, we want to make it here because we like touring here and we like spending time in clubs and places here. That's this good climate for touring, especially if you compare it to Sweden, you know. So, of course, we want to reach out in UK, but uh, I don't think we're desperate yeah, it's a, for it. But we're, it's a struggle. Every, every, everything is a struggle, you know. That's the only thing you do, you struggle. But last night, you know, two days ago, we played in Glasgow and we played a bar. 500 people and we hadn't played a, a club for two two years or one and a half years and I mean it was the best feeling we had and we we don't really like I mean we like I would like to sell 100 million albums and be the biggest band in the world but I really don't want to play arenas like even though I have to I and I would do it you know I that's the that's the kicks you get from those small clubs. So I would like to break England, but if I had one country where I always could go to and I was not big at all, like and I had to struggle, that that would suit me. We're a little bit like Anvil, you see. Yeah. We, it doesn't take that much to please us, you know. A club with five hundred, that's fair enough for one of the others. Yeah. 